What's going on guys, it's K-Man here. I want to give you a quick unboxing of this Street Fighter 6 Fighting Stick. It's PS licensed and approved. It's coming from Hori. And I just like the way this looks. I love the way it looks. I have a, an older one, the old Rap Hayabusa down there. Um, I've had that for a while. Um, I enjoy it. This one here though, it's a little bit better. Obviously it's PS5 but it has the ability to be opened up more easily and to swap out some of the components. So that's important as well if you are into the fighting genre or just want to have a, a stick that maybe emulates for your PC and, and does some things a little better. Uh, we could probably put in a Saimitsu or Hap or, you know, Sanwa, you know, wh whatever you like. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I, I like the basic setup. But I also like Sanwa and Saimitsu a lot. I like IL. But I think Sanwa probably what I'll put in here. Sanwa stick with some Suzu Hap uh, buttons. But that will be another another day. For right now, I just want to get it unboxed, show you all what's in it, and just take a look. Hang on one second. Let's get it flipped over. It's not the... Uh, biggest box but it's a little bit a little bit of a challenge to get with one hand here I, I pulled the tape off earlier just so I could get to it just so I could get to it sorry about that my camera angles aren't the best as we do this one hand I really need to get a uh, a tripod for my camera here's what I need to do anyways and I apologize that things were so slow on my end for getting some content out I've had a little bit of a health health issue come up but I'm still standing anyways this is the this is the controller here and we're gonna go ahead and instruction manual so keep that for later and this right here appears to be the actual stick let me see if I can get this pulled out a little bit without it falling and making a mess here that's what I was trying to avoid just having it fall too hard inside there as I unbox it there we go package really well I like that and then go ahead and get this rest of this packaging off bear with me oh she's beautiful hang on guys I'm gonna set you down for one hot second and uh, just get this thing pulled out so that we have a good look at it here Ah, there we go. Let's go ahead and get this box off onto the floor. There we go. And here is the controller itself, the joystick itself. Oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. I've also been eyeballing the um, Tekken 8 one. Um, these buttons, these buttons feel very Sanwa-like. I'm going to be honest with you. Maybe we'll stick with the buttons. I, I like having more confirmation, but... This isn't going to be just for Street Fighter. It's going to be played with a lot of different fighting games. And if I'm honest, that's that's great. That's going to be very fast. If I do some MVC or like some Fight Kate stuff, that's that's going to work really well. Joystick. Uh, eh, it's 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 all right. You know, it's all right. It's it's a lot better than than that. And I don't know. That one was pretty good. And that one's pretty good. But I, I think. Mm, let me let me think about this for a second because this isn't you know it's pretty close it's pretty close and obviously you know different function different form different gate it's it's there it's it's in that it's in that same range with those i would say definitely better than stock arcade one-up stuff um and as far as no yeah that's no i like that i like that it's nice and fast it's going to come back to center real quick for me. I like that. I like that a lot. So this opens up, supposedly. Um, let's see if I can get it to open up here. Looks like it's got a little little clip here on top to open it up. And there we go. It does open. That's great. That's fantastic. So you can open it up and work on it as needed. And so I like that a lot. Let me see if I can get this turn around. It's also got a lockout button right here. You can do lockout. Uh, there's your R3, L3, uh, your function button. This emulates the little touchpad that's on the PlayStation controllers, or of course the PlayStation button. Um, right here, I think that's a, a live button or another function button there. I'll have to double check through the instructions. But you get the idea. So this is comp ready. 
and it looks like oh that's beautiful so we can gain access in like this let me turn it this other way so that way i don't have it just resting on top of the joystick but right here we get full access into everything i think that's phenomenal i think that's very key to be able to have it and it looks like it can bring it all the way out oh it's even got a button layout look at that look at that look at that that's great there's your button and cable layout color coded so that way if you do the swap around with this you'll see exactly what you need it's got the cable nice and tidied up in there that's beautiful they they did an excellent job with this makes it easy if you want to customize it um, we could also customize the graphics on it you can print out other graphics and and put them in on the outside i personally really like this purple i uh i don't know that i'll man this is going to be so easy to change hmm this could be an easy swap look at how easy that will be right there take off a few screws pop that that ribbon cable off there Eh, not too not too shabby hori not too shabby i'm i'm digging it um Anyways, that's that's it from a high level. You know, I I've used this in the past. Um, you know, like I say, the the previous Rap Hayabusa down there uh, feels very similar, except that we have the ability to, you know, take it and upgrade it without much trouble. And I just think that's phenomenal. Um, I'll go ahead and get this. Mm, it's got a nice handle right here to to grab it with. Um, this is the underside of it. This this right here. That's a pretty nice pad there. Um, to give it some stability of non-slip and grip anyways nothing nothing major to these things nice and big you know i don't have the biggest hands in the world but i don't have the smallest either i'm about six foot six foot one so my hands are are wider than they are long but there's plenty of room there for my hands to be on here i could rest my wrists um this this is great it's gonna go great right here on the table i gotta get my ps5 set up still yeah believe it or not my spider-man ps5 is literally sitting on the floor i've got one in my bedroom though uh, boot up to some tech and later i'll give you guys my thoughts in a reel maybe of how much i like this or don't like this but i'm pretty sure this is just fantastic and gonna work just fine and guess what if i don't like how it's functioning i can do a quick upgrade um the other the other greatness that we have right now is i have somewhere in the mess here it is also have this Brooks here. I think we're gonna do a test with this wingman and this in the next video, and uh, kind of see how this works with the old Xbox S down there. Kind of see how that goes. A anyways, guys. Again, sorry for all the delays. We'll do a caveman tour here soon, and I got some other things going with the arcade here. Um, I've got the uh, MK deluxe over there it's uh it's ready for a review as well so we'll get that that going and uh anyways i'm good i'm better i'm hanging hug your loved ones be good to each other love your neighbor all that good fun stuff love and prayers be blessed take care bye-bye